If you use BoardMaker with your students, then BoardMaker Share is a resource that you don't want to miss out on. Uh, to access BoardMaker Share, you'll need to sign up for an account, which is free to do. Once you get signed up and logged in, this is what your homepage will look like. It'll have information about you, it'll show recent board activity, and if you're part of any groups, it'll show um, activity from your recent from your groups. Um, BoardMaker Share is where people share activities that they've created on BoardMaker Share for you to download and use for free. There are thousands and thousands of resources on here. If you're looking to search for resources, all you have to do is type in the search box. Say, for example, your students use ed the Edmark Reading Program. Let's take a look at what's available by searching Edmark. You can see there are 131 results. If I wanted to break it down a little further, I could search by types, by categories, if there's any subcategories, and grade levels. You can sort by recently shares, by relevance, things like that. Um, what you'll see here are all the things we can download. And there's a few things you'll want to watch out for. If it has the little paper symbol by it, then it's just a print activity. What you can do with it is open it up, print it out. Simple, but that's what board maker's for. Um, if you see the little computer by it, that's an interactive activity. That uses the plus part of our BoardMaker Plus, and it'll have things that the students can move, maybe some matching, an interactive book, um, maybe some sounds, some speech in there, things like that. Um, really nice and interactive features. So if you see that symbol, then you know it's an interactive piece. What you'll see on the right here is the different types of board maker that these work with. What you're looking for is either the BM or the plus. If either of those are in there, then you're good to go. Um, what we have is board maker plus version six. So the plus means that you can do the interactive parts of it. The BM board maker is that you can print it out. S is for um, BoardMaker Studio, which we don't have yet. So if it's just the S highlighted, then it won't work with the BoardMaker that we have. So just be aware of that. You want to be sure to see the Plus or the BM in order for it to work um, on the BoardMaker that we have. So let's go into, ac go into um, an activity and see what it looks like. When you preview the activity, you can look at different screenshots of it and see what it looks like just to be sure that yeah this is what uh, will work for my students I do want to download that you can look and see a description of it you can see categories grade levels um, how many times it's been downloaded things like that so you can add it to your list of activities you can download it right away you can add it to a group or you can email it to a friend say you found this great activity but you don't have time to um, download it you could send it to one of your paraprofessionals and they could download it when they have a moment so when you're ready to download if you're doing it um, right away you can just click download activity and it'll start um, then you can open it and save it to the appropriate place so it's pretty simple to download activities from BoardMaker Share. If you have great boards that you've created that you want to share with others, a little reciprocity, you can just click uh, share your activities up here and upload them. And that's uh, pretty much the basics of BoardMaker Share. And I hope you um, utilize this great tool with lots of free resources.